Hey guys, welcome back to another video and I hope you're enjoying your day. So today's video is a small small item, part, modification, whatever you want to call it, that's just over 20 quid, um, but potentially can make a big difference. I think it's going to make a big difference to the 33. So stay tuned, let's get to it. Right, so this is the kit in question. Killer wipers, uh, rear wiper delete for the 33, but looking at their website, they do tons of kits for all different cars. But let's get back to the back of the car. We'll get this open, go over the bits, and I'll also explain why I'm doing this to my car. Right, so here's the culprit. And the reason why I'm removing it is the car doesn't do many miles. Um, it doesn't go on the motorway, so I don't have to worry about loads of salt at the back of the window. And one of the main key points is it doesn't work properly. So that's the reason why we're deleting it and removing it. Plus, I think we'll make the car look a million times better than this old thing on the back. So we'll get this open and then start dismantling it. All right guys, so we're just gonna take the cap off and then it's a 12 mil nut to take the wiper arm off. And then once you've got that off, I think you've got to then go from inside the boot to get the remaining part of it off. But let's see how it goes. All right, so nut off and then we're gonna take the wiper off next. So we just have to wind, just keep winding it off and then it'll come off completely. Okay. Cool. There we go. And then I'm pretty sure the next bit, I'm sure this winds off somehow. I don't know if this grommet comes off. I'm doing a bit of digging, potentially. We'll check in and then get back to you. All right, guys, so that grommet that was on there, just get a flat. 24. 24. So get a flat screwdriver, pop your grommet off, and then this one here is a 24 that you need to undo to get this loose. Which, I mean, we literally just put the socket head on and it's starting to come loose already. But that's the next thing to come off. Right guys, we've unwound that, and then there's your next piece to come off. And then that exposes your motor. I'm pretty sure you can unwind this from the outside as well. Because I think the nut's a fixed nut on the inside, so I think you can just wind this off. He says. And it might be attached to something on the inside because it, it's just turning and turning. Alright, we'll check in. Right guys, this job is a million times easier if you're in the middle of doing your coilovers, which we are, which is why the back seats are out of the 33. Um, but then you've got you can see here a nut there so I think it's 13 so we're gonna get a 13 mil spanner on that and then that's gonna obviously twist that jet from the outside and then hopefully that'll come loose and then we just got to undo the motor from the inside and there you go that's off and then we'll get I think that nut will come off he says I'm sure that's got to come off somehow uh, yeah all right guys so literally yeah just flat head on that then and then that's off and then that's your first hole that you're gonna um, bung up with your killer wipers kit and then we just gotta get the motor out good angle here but you need to take that one off here which is number one there's number two and then there's one towards the back there number three Undo those three, obviously disconnect uh, your wiring as well. And I have, just quickly, so in my car, because we run running a front mount, did an aftermarket washer jet. Um, so I've only got the front jet actually wired up. So I haven't got to worry about any water leakages because the rear spray nozzle isn't connected to it. But let's jump back to undoing those three bolts. So it's all out, so 
but as we said, you have one, two, three, and then just your wiring. But you need to disconnect this one and this one, which leaves those two there, which will tie wrap up and just move out the way. And like I said, I'm not worried about the original hose because we never used the jet wash when it was plumbed in originally because we were restoring the car and then before we ran the car we did that swap round to the aftermarket windscreen uh, jet that just goes to the front not the rear so I might just leave that there I could I don't know just for peace of mind just I don't know cap the end of that off um, but it's, it's bone dry there's literally nothing in there anyway well, I was really interrupted by the low battery message what we're going to do now is just clean all this up with some plastic cleaner inside and out and round it and get a year's worth of grind off and then we'll open the kit and then see what's inside and get that installed that's all cleaned up so let's get the kit open so we've got the kit open so you've got the sealant that you'll put round the edge of the two bungs depending on what model of car you've got what's it for the 33 you've got the two that you'll have seen us clean up so you're going to put the sealant round the edge of both and then once the sealant's on because I've got more parcel shelves and back seats I'm going to sit on the inside feed them both up use some electrical tape to hold them in place because I think you've got to leave it to set for an hour and then watching Killer Walker's own video I don't know if they use his own bag but it does come with some tie wraps as well so what I'm going to do is feed these connectors just in here and then use a tie wrap and just tidily tuck it away so they're not dangling willy nilly so that's what we're going to do so we'll get these open put the sealant on probably get my dad to film me from the outside and then yeah we'll get them in place seal put the back some tape on to hold them in and then wait an hour well guys it can be a bit of a messy thing so all i've done is cut a strip of electrical tape stuck it sticky side up so i've stuffed the blanking um, bung um, on to the tape to sit in place and then I'm going to you put the sealant around which is a little bit messy but if you're steady with it it's not too bad and then you don't have to faff around trying to pick the disc up then um, if you've got your tape just grab both sides of tape and lift it up and pop it in we've done this small one already so we'll just do this one now so I'll get the sealant on then show you quickly for that and then we'll put it in Right guys, I probably missed the last few stages, but we took the covers off, cut off the excess sealant, still needs a bit of a clean, but still very happy, and from a distance, looks a million times better than the real walker that didn't work. But that's it guys for this video, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.